When it comes to luxurious vacations, nothing can beat a luxurious stay inside a cruise ship. But we are not talking about a typical cruise ship with simple cabins and luxurious dining. For today's video, we are going to visit the biggest cruise ship in the world, which is the Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas. You don't need to be a millionaire just to experience a world-class vacation and the entertainment on board this biggest cruise ship. Well, if you dream of entering this massive ship, just pack a huge amount of cash and get a ticket and you will be able to experience the famous robotic bar staff, drones doing dance routines, and augmented reality artwork in the corridors of the ship. It gives you a raw vibe as you enjoy your stay because Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas is not only the biggest cruise ship ever floated, but also the most high-tech one. Wait till you learn what goes behind on this ship that you would never want to miss in your lifetime. Symphony of the Seas is a 228,081 gross tons ship which made her five times bigger than the famous Titanic and she's also much bigger than her sister ship the Harmony of the Seas, which is considered the former biggest cruise ship in the world. Her planned successor, Wonder of the Seas, should be the next biggest again when she launches next year. For now, let us see the reason why it is considered the biggest ship. Well, obviously, because it has 18 decks high with a maximum beam of 215 feet, which made Symphony of the Seas manage to hold 2,759 cabins, 24 pools, 23 restaurants, and 42 bars and lounges. She can entertain up to 6,680 passengers, looked after by a 2,200-person crew. The Oasis-class vessel isn't just big, it's also pretty lively while cruising at a brisk 22 knots over open water which is roughly 25 miles an hour. Although it is not the fastest boat in the world, but not bad for a gigantic luxury resort, because it has 316-cylinder Vatsila 16V46D common rail engines that can produce 25,290 horsepower each. Plus three additional 12-cylinder Vatsila 12V46 engines each producing 18,590 horsepower. It can also consume up to 13,777 gallons of fuel per engine per hour. This is no ordinary engine because they are a Zypod style. That means each 20-foot wide propeller is mounted on a pod that can swivel to assist steering, which is more efficient than old-school rudders. Indeed, Marine engineers are always seeking clever efficiencies to make their energy-hungry fleets more sustainable. From the engine room, let us go upstairs and take a look at its cabins because roughly half of the Symphony of the Seas is made of cabins or staterooms to use their fancy name. First, let us check out the ultimate family suite said to sprawl over 1,346 square feet with a balcony, hot tub, and a mesh-enclosed outdoor climbing apparatus. This elegant suite features an air hockey table, mini golf, chalkboard wall, and a fun slide to move swiftly between levels. There's also a floor-to-ceiling Lego wall and a vast 85-inch theater-style TV with 3D movies on demand. Not to mention a private multi-platform video game library all for a mere $50,000 per week. Quite cheap if you're a millionaire. Most staterooms are somewhat more compact. As senior project architect Harold Law says, the millimeters matter. So even something as trivial as the thickness of a veneer on the cabin walls could be pared back over the entire length of the ship in order to squeeze in an extra cabin per deck. Rooms are acoustically insulated to shield engine noise and dance music from the onboard nightclubs. 
all toilets are guaranteed to not spill their contents into the cabin. Speaking of the cabin, it is said that sleeping in an internal windowless cabin was bleak. But don't worry, because Symphony of the Seas has virtual balconies, which project a real-time view of the twinkling oceanic world outside. To achieve this, the engineers use four separate camera angles to recreate the view as faithfully as possible. In order to make it more realistic, clever design tricks like uplighting and well-placed mirrors and well-chosen carpet patterns also help the smaller staterooms feel less claustrophobic. Similarly, the corridors can freak people out. That's why architects had installed fake arches and other obstacles to make the corridors appear shorter. Not to mention that some walls are covered with lenticular art which changes appearance depending on your direction of travel. Art is a huge deal in Symphony of the Seas. In fact, there's over 13,000 individual artworks featured aboard the ship. One particular highlight in the adults-only solarium section is called Big Wonder. The installation features over 3,800 iridescent acrylic tiles, shimmering in the sunshine, and thanks to cunningly integrated LEDs, it weighs 7 tons and covers 241 square meters. Other cool pieces include a spherical classic car on the main concourse, as well as assorted works of augmented reality art that come to life via Royal Caribbean smartphone app. Plus, a musical staircase to the Windjammer Cafe that lights up and plays musical tones. Aside from all of these masterpieces, you can also enjoy the scenery of some amount of nature aboard, including 52 trees and 30,000 individual plants in the sprawling Central Park region, one of seven so-called neighborhoods aboard Symphony of the Seas. At an earlier phase of the design, it was suggested to install a grassy lawn, but the prospect of salty air and heavy footfall meant that idea was wisely shelved. When it comes to entertainment and recreations, Symphony never fails to feature the ultimate abyss, a 10-story Hitler sculptor with pulsing LED lights and sound effects. And if you want something interesting, you can climb into an angler fish's mouth structure which is 130 meters above sea level and plummet down the longest slide anywhere at sea. Plus, if you are more into daring adventure, you can zipline across the ship's distinctive internal cavernous open space, which is 9 stories above the deck. There's also a full-sized basketball court and dodgeball arena. And for your enjoyment, it has a casino, a comedy club, two 12-meter climbing walls, and even a science lab just for kids with a library. They even host regular parades with fully costumed actors, acrobats, and giant balloon drops. And a DJ-led pool party with perfect storm, a triple-speed water slide, with a swirl champagne bowl at the bottom. If that all sounds a bit naff and resorty, why not try a round of glow-in-the-dark laser tag? Or try your hand at surfing on not one, but two 12-meter flowrider surf simulators. The aft deck is dominated by an innovative aqua theater where Olympic standard divers plunge 9 meters through the air into the deepest pool on any ship anywhere. Well, if you're not into water sports, you can enjoy a normal theater towards the bow end, where highlights include the musical hairspray. You can spot a show celebrating the history of aviation and a proper working reenactment of the Wright Brothers plane. There's also a separate ice rink theater where award-winning skaters join with no fewer than 48 light-up drones performing a futuristic rock opera, over 5,000 laser projections on ice. All of this entertaining stuff, plus an escape room, a gym, a spa, and a running track. We can also agree that the best part of this cruise vacation is the mouth-watering foods 
served by almost 280 chefs working across 36 kitchens and preparing 100 different menus each week. It was said that almost 11 million meals a year are served every week. 700 pounds of ice cream and 2,100 pounds of lobster tails. In the bakery, they can bake 40 different types of bread from all over the world. Not to mention the onboard butcher slices and dices 15,000 pounds of beef and 9,700 pounds of chicken. That's every week. Supplies come on turnaround day at the port of Miami. Symphony of the Seas typically takes on board 30 trucks worth of food. Crew will order based on the passengers, and each of the onboard restaurants is designed to minimize distance from the storerooms below deck because when you're shocking 2,000 oysters, freshness really matters. And when it comes to drinks, let the robotic bartenders at the Bionic Bar serve you. Just choose a cocktail or design your own and watch this metal mixologist shake you up a treat as electronic display boards highlight each ingredient. Looks like there's a lot of stuff inside this massive luxury ship and so does the waste it produces. It is indeed a wrong habit to crudely dump the so-called black water overboard. That's why in Symphony, their waste is being treated until it's near drinking water purity, then returned to the sea. Waste management is their priority, as their trash is stored in vast onboard storage containers and frozen in order to slow the bacteria on the way back to port. Speaking of sustainability, Royal Caribbean engineers do their best to save energy where possible. For instance, they used a 2MW steam turbine aboard that recovered waste heat from the engines to provide power for the staterooms. This alongside subtle developments in everything from propeller shape to air conditioning control systems make a difference and make everything on board Symphony efficiently. Seems like the Symphony has everything you can imagine, from entertainment to food, and from accommodation to recreation. This would surely make your vacation as luxurious as you want. Just always remember to take safety precautions before you enjoy everything on board. What do you think? Would you dare to experience all these things inside of this expensive but luxurious symphony? Let us know in the comment below, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Lux Life, hit that subscribe button. Cheers!